Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find and correct the value in opening balance equity. This is assuming that the opening balance equity should be an owner's investment or something of that nature. It's not going to be a one size fits all fix because your situation might be different than my example. When you look at your balance sheet report, you scroll down, you might notice that you have a value in opening balance equity. In this example, I have a value of $50. I can click on the $50 and this is going to bring up a report and the report is going to show me the information for this year. Fantastic. The $50 happens to be on my list. Also fantastic. If you're doing this and the money you're looking for does not show up on your list, a different way to get there is to go to your chart of accounts and then to search. When you find your account, click on view register on the right. And then this will give you a list of everything, including the stock that was before this year. I don't care how you get there, just get there. In our example, we have this $50 value. So let me click on edit so you can see what's going on. This is a deposit into the checking account at the Superfund Bank. This is dated 1-1-2023. When I scoot down, I can see add funds to this deposit, opening balance equity. And for you, you're going to see something in the memo or the description. It's going to say opening balance entered automatically by QuickBooks. When you connect your bank to QuickBooks Online for the first time and you tell it to download data, QuickBooks is going to have to put a placeholder in for whatever amount of money was in your account as of the day you said to start downloading. So in my make-believe example, we started downloading on January 1st. On January 1st, we had a value of $50. That may have been the owner put some money in two weeks before that date, or it could be a thousand years worth of data. We don't know. So let's make believe. Make believe that this was money that the owner had put into the bank account and they had done it sometime in 2022 and the bank had been dormant. And so all we want to do is we just want to say QuickBooks, this money didn't come from the magical thin air land of opening balance equity. This money was an owner's contribution. The owner transferred money out of their personal account into the business account they transferred $50. That's all that's happened with this account. So we just change the dropdown and we select save and close. This is going to take the value out of opening balance equity. When we go back to our balance sheet, we're going to see that it's no longer in opening balance equity. And then it just increased our owner's contribution. Like I said, this example is very specific to the one situation. I just happened to be showing somebody yesterday how to do this, and I thought, well, in case anybody else needs it, I'll make a quick video. If you have any questions, any concerns, if my team or I can help you, please don't hesitate to reach out. We offer QuickBooks training, outsource bookkeeping, and self-study courses.